Hey guys, welcome to Tech Tips. Today we have Windows 8.1. With the launch of Windows 8.1, lots of people are excited about the launch as it brings some eagerly awaited features that people have been asking for. And the best part? It's free! <laughs> First off, let's have a moment of silence for the death of the Windows Experience Index. <laughs> yes, I know it's sad, but it never really took off and the Tests were outdated with many users maxing out their scores. So obviously the first thing you'll notice with Windows 8.1 is that the start button is back. So if you check that out, the mouse is mouse over the start button. Awesome on the desktop screen. Sweet. All right, next is the ability to actually boot into desktop. So what we do to select that option, because it's not selected by default, if you right click on the taskbar, go into properties, and under the navigation tab, you click on that. You want to check off when I log in or close all apps on a screen, go to the desktop instead of start. So that's been checked off. You hit apply and then you hit OK. So the next time you start off the, the PC or the tablet in this case, it's going to go directly to the desktop if you want it to, or you can have it go to the start screen, whichever one you want. So choice is yours. All right, let's talk about some other new stuff. Let's talk about the keyboard swipes and some gestures. Let's start off with keyboard swipes. So for the virtual keyboard, they've improved it quite a bit. If we go into Internet Explorer and into the Bing search and into the virtual keyboard, we can type whatever you want, obviously. Who is there? Question mark. Now let's say you want to type in some numbers. Usually you would go into the numbers pad and type in all the numbers. But with Windows 8.1, you don't need to do that anymore. Let's delete that part first. All you need to do is quickly hold over the number you want and swipe up. So one would be Q, and you swipe up. Oh wait, let's try that again. Q, one, W is two, and so on and so forth. All right, and if you want to do punctuation, same thing. Hold over question mark and swipe up and you get the exclamation mark. So depending on which direction you swipe, you get the different shortcut that it's assigned. So you can see the different shortcuts by holding down on the letter or punctuation or number or whatnot. And you can see around what's on there. So let's pick a letter this time with H. If we hold H, we see that it has a acute accent. And O and G, same thing. F doesn't have anything assigned, so on and so forth. So that's pretty cool. Now let's go over to gestures. For some apps that are gestured enabled, uh, for example, Bing Food and Drink, let's tap on that. It brings you to, you know, obviously browsing recipes and stuff. So if you want to browse recipes simply for gestures, you tap on that. Let's go with, uh, let's go with steak tacos. Click on, tap on hands-free mode. It prepares a, a cooking mode for you. And the hands-free symbol is now on. So if you want to be cooking steak tacos at home and not have to dirty up your screen and touch it, simply wave across the webcam that you have enabled. And you can go through the entire recipe, all seven steps, without having to touch the screen. If you want to go back, works the same way. All right, let's talk about some other things like some smaller convenience things they've added to Windows 8.1. So from the lock screen, obviously this is the lock screen. If you pull down from the top, you can actually now take pictures from the lock screen without actually having to log in. So there's my pretty mug, all right? Let's not look at that now. And flip the camera around. Obviously, the camera is on the bottom of the Sony here. So there we go. So now you can do that from the lock screen. Yay! That's awesome. So if you want to get out of that, just hit unlock. And it brings you back to the desktop or your start tiles, whatever you had previously before you powered down the device. So reorganizing your custom tiles on the start menu hasn't been that great of an experience before, but with 8.1, if you go back to the start tiles, customizing the tiles are a lot easier. Now all you have to do is press and hold. 
and it brings you to the customizing menu. Here you can actually resize the different tiles and reorganize them. So let's say I use camera the most, let's move it right under the calendar. And let's say we want to resize calendar. Uh, instead of having it wide, let's make it a medium sized tile or a large tile. Uh, let's go large. So it makes it a full square tile there. Whether, let's say we'll go with a small one brings it down to that. Obviously you won't be able to tell what it is because it loses the title, but obviously if you're going to reorganize everything, you can tell what it is. And photos, we want medium, so that brings it to the same size of the camera. And all that stuff, you can still move things around, reorganize, like so. Let's put news down here, right under the NCIX app. Actually, yeah. Pretty cool. Another convenient feature, so instead of trying to find your apps within the start tile, you say, there's not many tiles in there to begin with. Just simply swipe up and you can search all the apps by name. So let's say we want Notepad. There we go. Easy peasy. How now brown cow. That's not my favorite thing to type now, how now brown cow. So for other small conveniences, we weren't actually technically able to show you just because this isn't one of the smaller tablets. The screen has been free formatted to work on smaller screens for anything smaller than seven inches. The Sony here is, a, I believe, 11 inch screen. So we weren't able to show that off. And also all the updates in the Microsoft Store are now running in the background. So no more annoying pop-ups. So that's all done in the background now. And you don't need to worry about having to update all the time. So now that we've shown you some of the tips and tricks you can use in Windows 8.1, what are you waiting for? Get out there and upgrade. It's free for all Windows 8 users if they haven't done so already. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's Jack with Tech Tips. Peace out.